Congratulations on your win. Take us through that fight. Yeah, it was um, it was tough. I mean, I got caught off guard. I love fighting orthodox. I love fighting orthodox guys, and um, he switched and he just messed with my head a little bit. And I should have torn my new asshole, but I didn't. But otherwise, yeah, I, I just a bit scared to let the hands go. When I did let him go, I done really well. I'm hoping I get a bonus, but after watching that KO with Mark Casey, it looks like he's gone. So <laughs> I'm lucky on the bonus. And into this fight, Do you, you know, people were looking at this at you and Scott. You know, a bit inconsistent between both of you. A lot of eyes on this about you know potentially the loser going. Did you feel that pressure? I did. I um, like I said in the in the middle of the year, I was willing. I was on about give it up and just uh, there's so much pressure on fires. It's not. The training's great, the fighting, it's just the pressure all the time. You know, there's no money in it. I earn more money learning to be a plumber. So, but yeah, I, I thought, you know, I, I'm glad I got the win, but I did feel the pressure of the loser gets kicked out. So, unfortunately for Scott, he probably is going to get dropped. You seem a little bit disappointed. I don't know if that's just what I'm getting from you, but how do you, how do you feel, how do you rate your performance? Shit, I wanted to knock him out. I wasn't impressed by performance. I wanted to... Uh, if you guys see me train, I'm an animal in the gym. I just need to bring that to the cage, and I'm going to be top ten. I should be ripping guys out to pieces. He's not in the gym. It'd be horrible. I'd, I'd rip him to pieces. But then, under the pressure, I told you I just got to get used to the pressure. I need to get um, get like a sports psychiatrist coach and get some help, and then I'll be back on the right track. Is that something that you think will help you going forward, and something that you're really kind of considering doing? Yeah, I just I'll get the wallet out and go and see a guy in Bristol. Now I got some money at last, not broke as fuck, so I better go and do it. That's all good. So any injuries? How are you feeling? And when do you would like to, you know, get back in there? Um, I got to go get an MRI scan. They reckon I've torn my rotator cuff, but I doubt that's that much of a big deal. So I'm hoping well, I'm being signed off for 30 days minimum till I've had my MRI scan cleared. Then I'm going to go off. I want to go to Thailand, you know. Go, go, well, lots of things I want to do over there go over there and train and stuff and stuff in Thailand. Fuck it, I'll let you leave that to your imagination. In the post fight, Brad, you looked emotional when you were in there, you were talking. Can you go through what was going through your mind in there? Because you looked like you were fighting back some pretty heavy emotion. Yeah, I mean, I was going to give up. I was, um... Just a relief. There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> and I was going to give it up, but I'm so glad I didn't. You know I mean, I dug deep and then managed to get a win. He said to me yesterday, Brad, he said to me that, you know, the difference between the two of you was that he would want it more. He had more to lose. In the cage tonight, it seemed like you were fighting like you had more to lose. Fuck Scott. He fucking, he didn't want it more than I did. Not at all. He didn't take a step forward. Fuck Scott. No, not a chance. He didn't want it more than me. I wanted to blame in front of my own team. I'm not dad. <laughs> Fuck that. What was it like, you know, fighting here in London as well? Did that mean anything extra for you to be doing it, you know, here in the UK? Yeah, I was on a two-fight losing streak at the O2. The two fights, I believe I won. Well, one of them, I definitely thought I beat Jocko, who's now top 50 in the world. And I genuinely believe I won that, so uh, it, it, it was just brilliant. I mean, I, I, I thought I clearly won the first, and I thought I edged the third. So hearing a split decision made my asshole twitch like a rabbit's nose, but I, I thought I won. So I'm glad I won. I just wish I'd let my hands go and got the finish and knocked his ass out. There's lots of European cards announced for the year. We've got Stockholm, Glasgow, Rotterdam, Dublin, Paris, Dubai, and then Poland as well. Is there any, uh, any of those that interest you at all? To be honest, you, I, I, I don't care. I don't care who I fight, where I fight. I just need to rest up, get my shoulder ready. When I'm in camp, I'll fight anyone. I've got no fear of it being in the cage. If I die in there, I'd die a happy man. So I've got no fear. Now, you know, you were saying before this, you, you know, you were potentially going to hang it up. You didn't know what the future holds. That win, it was a tough one. But do you feel that mentally, I know you're going to go and work with some, some sports psychologists, but this is... This sport is where you need to be. This is what you want to keep doing. Yeah, I mean, I was on about giving up because I was scared of failure. Do you know what I mean? I'm not scared of being hurt. I'm actually scared of losing. And um, there's a lot of pressure. I don't like losing. I like to win. 
So uh, I could never give up a fight and it's the only thing I've ever been good at. So hopefully go back to the drawing board, keep kicking some ass.